I'm just gonna close my eyes for a bit. Like Boozer says, I hear a bunk calling my name. All right, okay, let's go. No, this is your clutch. I know where the clutch is. Uh, do you want me to show you how to do this or not? Yes, but I know where the clutch is. Okay, fine. All right, you do it yourself, okay? Fine. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? You can't park here. Uh, I'm just here to pick it's up private Sarah property. Wh now turn around. Get the hell out of here. Come on. Okay. <sighs> Move it. Yep. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, you know what, though? I think I'm just gonna wait right here. You can go back to doing your guard the cornfields thing. This is Officer Moore at the gate. We got an issue here. <laughs> hey, listen, asshole. This is a restricted area. I told you, get the hell out of here. Okay. Hey, hey, you just wait right there. I told you. Move it. It's like I was trying to say. I'm just here She's to pick up... Did you not see that sign? Oh, look at that. That's kind of hard to miss. I'm authorized to use deadly force. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Whitaker. It's, it's what, fine, I, Do you know this asshole? Yeah, he's with me. He's with me. Sorry, ma'am. I, I on, didn't know go. that... It's fine. Honestly, I apologize. Shh. Oh, and Jim! Deacon! I'm not with her. She's with me. Hold on tight. Why do you always do that? Do what? Act like such a dick. Oh, come on. He started it. What are you, five? Hey, watch the clutch. Remember, you gotta give it enough gas, rev up the RPMs. I got this. Yeah, I can hear. Where are we headed? Over to the dam. That's a nice, quiet road, right? With you driving? No. Are we still going out tonight? You said something might come up. Uh, crap, yeah. Uh, Boozer and the boys want to ride down to Klamath State, visit Jack. Blow me off to go see some guy in prison? Jack's not some guy. I know, I know. I was kidding. Bye. Uh -huh. 
Oh shit, look out! Oh god. Oh my god. Jesus. I don't know what it is, but every time I'm on a bike with you, some idiot in a truck tries to run us off the road. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. You did great. You did great. Uh, most people, they would have panicked. They would have oversteered, and that would have gotten us killed. I almost did get us killed. I was... No, no. I wasn't paying attention, and I was distracted. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. You're okay. Wait a second. What did, what did you mean, distracted? No, it's just stuff going on at work. It's nothing. I just... Oh. Okay. No, I just thought maybe you uh, saw my new patch. What? No. Nomad? Wait, you, you quit the club? No, I didn't quit the club. I would never quit the club. Uh, uh, nomad, what it means is, um, well, I'll be less involved from now on. Deke, I didn't ask you to do that. Oh, I know, I know. And if you had, I would have said no. <laughs> you ready to try this again? Yeah, I mean, no, but yeah, I will. Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> well, you know, I do what I can. Hey, hey, the clutch, the clutch. I know what the clutch is. Okay, no, no, the... Deacon. So, uh, you think your parents are gonna come? To the wedding? I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I thought if I stepped back from the MC that, uh... I don't think it's gonna matter to them, Deacon. But you're gonna, you're gonna at least tell them. Yeah, if you want me to. Look, it's just... I'm not gonna change who I am and who you are to make my uptight, middle-class parents happy. Okay. Look out! I see them. Hey, are they... are they headed to your work? Oh, shit. What about the MC? Are any of them coming now that you've gone nomad? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh... It's probably been a while since any of them set foot in a chapel, uh, and you really want 27 Harleys rolling up in that little church in Marion Forks? Yeah. You know what? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, okay. So, uh, do you think your parents are gonna come? To the wedding? I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I thought if I stepped back from the MC that, uh... I don't think it's gonna matter to them, Deacon. But you're gonna, you're gonna at least tell them. Yeah, if you want me to. Look, it's just, I'm not gonna change who I am and who you are to make my uptight, middle-class parents happy. Okay. Look out! I see them. Hey, are they, are they headed to your work? Oh, shit. What about the MC? Are any of them coming now that you've gone nomad? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's probably been a while since any of them set foot in a chapel, uh, and you really want 27 Harleys rolling up in that little church in Marion Forks? Yeah. You know what? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, okay. This wood is returning. What's going on? Uh, I don't know. Miss Whitaker. Yeah. She's been trying to get a hold of you, says it's urgent. It's always urgent. Let him know I'll be right there. Okay. I gotta go. Hey, hey. <laughs> Sorry. 
It's fine. It's probably just a fire alarm or something small. Okay. How come dead? <clears throat> Love you. Um, just call me later. Addie, I'm sorry. Whatever. Addie, whatever, Ricky. I'm sorry. Clearance. Clearance. Uh, O'Brien, this is St. John. Come back. O'Brien, this is St. Just answer your goddamn radio! St. John, didn't think I'd hear from you again. Yeah, neither did I. All right, listen, that night you bugged out. You told me that you didn't take any civilians. You just took uh, Nero personnel, feds, people with clearance. I told Shut up, shut up, shut up. Listen to me. Sarah, my wife, she had clearance. She had her ID badge with her the night that I put her on your chopper. So just do me a favor, look it up. Sarah Irene Whitaker. She worked at Cloverdale. She had federal clearance. She was doing, uh, I don't know, research pharmaceutical. I don't know what she, the hell she was okay, doing. Just okay. do me. I'll see what I can find. Okay, great. O'Brien, remember, you owe me. Yeah, yeah. O'Brien out. A couple of guys burned out a nest a few weeks back. You know, a uh, freaker nest. Oh, Deacon, good to see you. Came out. How's life treating you, Blair? Screamer. Let me tell you. They call him that for a reason. Brought down a damn horde on us. Had to run for our lives. St. John, this is O'Brien. O'Brien, what do you got? I need to see you in person. Jesus, O'Brien, just would you tell me what you found? Is, is she? Is she alive or isn't she? I have something to give you. O'Brien. I've transmitted the coordinates. Meet me there. O'Brien out. O'Brien. Oh, God damn it. Dean, Iron Mike's looking for you. He said. Booze man, listen, just uh, tell him I'll be back. I gotta. You remember what I told you? Um, the night that Sarah oh, died, hey, Nero hey, bugged out. They only took their own people, feds and people who had federal clearance levels. Wait, Deke, what the hell are you talking about? Look, it's probably nothing, but there's something I gotta do. Deacon out. Information, O'Brien. What the hell could you possibly have left to say? Not that I would give a damn about. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Let me tell you, before this shit, we were numb. Sedated like fat, happy cow. Candy, tap.
television, booze, heroin, and it worked. But now, well, we're feeling the pain. All of it. Every cut. We are wide awake, and we are watching. You see the truth of what I've been saying from the beginning. No one can get anything past us. We're the ones running the show now. And we're doing it a damn sight better than the feds ever did. Take a deep breath. And hold it in. You're a free man. No one can take that from yeah, you again. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Yeah, I hope I'm feeling the pain. Who fucking is it? Well, fucking Jesse Carlos Williamson. Rest in peace. <laughs> Good. Get you out of there. Hey, hey, it's not safe out here in the shit. I know where there's a camp. In
Made the loss late. As for Ricky Patel, she'll take you in. Yeah, let them know it was Deacon St. John. They know me. Stay off the main roads. Don't stop. I can fix this. That'll hold. So what the hell? I managed to recruit a few guys who I trust, but like me, aren't happy with what's going on. So why am I here? I wanted to give you this. You were right about your wife. Where did you get this? When Silver Lake evacuated, they took Nilo personnel, federal officials, and well, Sarah Irene Whitaker had a class four federal clearance level. Clearance level. The wife bugged out with a recon unit, east of Fort Rock. Take me there. No. No. Well, you got a ride. We're all friends now. The base is gone. What? A year ago. Local militia group. Militia group? Where's their camp? We don't know. How the hell can you not know? You got a helicopter. You got satellites. Somewhere around Crater Lake, but it's a no-fly zone, okay? They got outposts, rockets, RPGs. Crater Lake. Crater Lake. I want to tell you about the work we're doing. Studying the infected, the freaks. They're evolving. As bad as things are right now, they're gonna get worse. A lot worse. Shit about any of that. Boozer? Booze man, come back. Yeah, Dean. Hey, listen, listen to me. Uh, a year ago, we were with Iron Mike. We were thinking about riding south. Santium Pass was blocked. There was no way through, and he said that he knew another way. Hey, Iron Mike, he's, he's not too happy with us right now. Just listen to me, just listen to me. Do you remember what he said? Iron Mike? Yeah, he was, he was bragging about knowing every goat trail in a hundred miles. So there was a trail in the ground. Tielson, Tielson, that's it. Tielson, yes. Yeah, why the hell are you. Wait. Shit. I've talked to 
Uh, I, I think that she's alive. Dave, you never lost hope. You always knew. You never gave up. So what are you gonna do? I don't know, Boozer. I don't know, uh, but... God, if there's even a chance that she's alive, I... Well, I gotta find her. Goddamn right. Uh, shit, I, I gotta go. Uh, Ricky and Addie need help putting up a shelf or some goddamn thing. Look, I'll, I'll see you when you get back to camp. Who's her out? Okay, okay. See you, Boots. Radio Free Oregon. Come on, the guys. Truth Open up. She'll set you free. It has come to my attention that some of you are out there working with Nero. The very same Nero we saw cut down a group of survivors not too long ago. The same Nero that abandoned us here in this shit two years past. Some would call these people fools. But I got a better name for them. Traitors. And I assure you, I don't take treason lightly. But I am a reasonable man. So you get one warning. Listen up. Stop what you're doing. Now. Before we find you. Because we will. And when we do, you will pay. I'll personally string you up on the biggest tree I find. And while you're breathing your last, we'll quarter you and feed you to the freaks you love. That is a promise. 